this is Iron Man 245. I didn't have time to I didn't I didn't have time to review this movie because my friends were in my house after the movie finished. The movie that we have seen today This movie is such a disappointment. Really at all costs. I did not like it at all. The movie that we're gonna talk about is The Last Airbender, directed and written and also produced by M. Night Shyamalan. Stars Nora Ringer, Nicole Peltz, Jackson Rothbone, and Dev Patel. And basically we know that The Last Airbender is based on a cartoon show that they give in Nickelodeon. Even though I am not the fan of the show, the plot itself is that there's one last airbender and um, Okay, if I can try to remember this, we know. And okay, these two, these two uh, teenagers. One of them is the last waterbender. Finds a sphere in in a cold area. Once the sphere was open, we find Aang, the last Airbender, who is the Avatar that matches all four bending techniques: air fire, water, and earth. But since he lied that he was an avatar, he only knows uh, air. So he learned a little bit with water, and all I know is that we're going to have pretty bad sequels. Unless if it's directed by another person, then yeah, I will check it out. If it's not directed by, if it's not, if it's directed by M. Night Shyamalan, if they make a sequel and it's directed by M. Night Shyamalan, do not see it. Everybody, do not see it. Okay, let's talk about this movie. When I first saw it, I thought it was going to be pretty cool. You know? um, and then till the middle, it got slow and slow and slow. Even though the, the action is pretty good. The acting was corny. It was not good at all. Even though it's like... I don't know. Watching a, it's like watching a Disney Channel, a Disney Channel show. The visuals are not good at all. Well, a little bit good. Plot itself follows from the show, but the really most biggest flaw at all. Why the f did it need to be in 3D? I paid eight dollars ticket to see a 3D movie even though I love 3D movies this one did not needed 3D at all they did the exact same thing in Clash of the Titans it's only the subtitles on with 3D nothing came out popping out of the screen nothing and I spent eight dollars on this really bad movie I mean um, there's one thing that I forgot I think Okay, Ang's uh, Ang's pet, which is a uh, well, he has two pets actually. He got that big one with that tail, like a like a platypus. I forgot his name. It's probably like Appa. You don't even see half, not even one bit of his face at all. You see like half of it, but you only see his body. You see it flying. You don't. It's only one second that you only see his face, including you don't even see much of that little flying lemur. Even though that the action is pretty good, acting was not that good. The series, I mean, this, the movie took on so quickly from the rest of the series. It did follow like the show, but since M Night M uh, M's direction in this movie. Oh my God. Oh my God. I cannot believe it. This movie really sucks. I mean, I can't describe it at all. Even though that in Avatar the show is supposed to be looking like a tw a twelve year old boy, this mo this one he looks like a freaking eight year old. Even though that there's one character which is hot to me, probably. Is a girl Nicole Peltz, the one that played Katara. To me, she's hot. Not the white-haired one. Oh God. 
can't believe I went to see a eight dollar eight dollar three D movie. See these piece of crap. Do uh, see this piece of uh, piece of crap. And me and my friends were planning on seeing another movie after this. After this crap, I saw Predators. Let me tell you something. I saw Predators three times already. We we're supposed to see Inception, but um, we we're planning on seeing another day. I know that Tom Chatter asked Tom if you're listening to this uh, review. Neither I think you watch Inception too many times. I know, I know, but you don't need to take a break. Christopher Nolan is like the only man that can direct movies. What this movie, what the director should have, what Hollywood, what Hollywood should have hired director, one director that can make this film really good would have been neither Ron Under, Ron Underwood, or James Cameron himself, or probably Steven Spielberg. But this movie sucks. I highly recommend. No, everybody, do not see this movie. No, it's like the worst movie that was ever directed by M. Night Shyamalan. All right, the only good M. M. Night Sha Shyamalan movie to me probably is Signs, stars Mel Gibson and Joaquin Phoenix. That was the only good movie from M. Night Shyamalan. Also, a little bit of Lady in the Water, and I saw half of The Sixth Sense. But The Last Airbender, oh God, please. I hope this is his last movie to direct, even though he is producing a movie called Devil. And while during the movie, even though that such teenagers hate, but you know, it has to happen. This movie is a kid's movie. I don't know why that they also had to direct, uh, use M. Night Shyamalan for this movie. The theater room was half empty, and a kid was there. Who was a very good fan of the show. I know he liked that movie. Because you know he's a kid. But he spoiled everything. He keeps yelling out all this stuff. that All the elements from the shows that I've never seen. Damn that kid was so annoying. And I was near, I was next to him. And damn. And I wanted this movie to end. Like right now. I was waiting if I would fall asleep. Damn. I did not. Alright. Here's the movie. A rating. Two out of five for the worst movie ever directed by M. Night Shyamalan, Last Airbender. Really the worst movie I've ever seen. Wow, this is like the only worst movie on my movie list of 2010 only. God, I do not want to see this movie again, ever. And if a kid asks me, can I see Avatar with him, The Last Airbender, I'm going to say, um, I going to have a date with somebody, and I do not want to see a, a movie with you. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but the movie sucks.